What is up everyone, Mr. Random here, 178. Uh, I thought I'd make a little video today after chatting to a couple of people, a bit of feedback, you know the score. Um, basically it's about troop reinforcement, troop marching, etc. Troops themselves, I mean a lot of people don't read into the details. And you know what, I see, I see people getting attacked and whatever and it bugs the fuck out of me. I'm thinking to myself, you know I've told you this and of times again. But whatever, I'm here to make a video to show you, you know, a little bit about it. Um, you know, from from my point of view and from what I've learned, you know, I'm not a I'm not a prestige castle. I don't go around skill hitting people. I'm not I'm not trying to make myself out to be one of them people because I'm not. I just want to show people what I've learned along the way, you know, to try and keep you guys alive longer and uh, stop them people out there who do go around skill and hitting people um, to stop that from sort of happening and sort of reduce the damage that you, you take um, from fucking idiots like that, basically. Um, so this is what this video is about now. If you have a quick look, now I will start off very, sorry I'm trying to do three different things here, I mean, I've got my laptop on to the left of me. Um, key thing you need to do, I will start with straight away. If you have a look at every single building, your archery range, your cavalry range, barracks, etc, blah blah blah, go to more information. No you don't, wrong fucking one, my apologies. <laughs> Go to train. Sorry. Right. Now hover over each and every one of these troops and read the details. For example, let's do your, your top ones here. Look at their stats. 65, 49. Look at what they do. Look at what they're, they're good at. I will start with defensive infantry because this is one thing I see a lot of that people don't have. And this is the reason why they get zeroed. You know, and they're, when they're saying, you know, they're saying, well, I had loads of troops in there. You know, and someone even told me today, it's fine. I've got loads of... Level nine defensive troops, and I'm thinking level nine defensive troops. And we were, oh hell, hell, it is. No, 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 no. They're not defensive troops at all, at all. You know, where, where, what part of this tells you they're defensive troops? If you have a look here, I mean they've got 80, 84 attack and 49 defense. Don't get me wrong, that that's that's pretty good. It's good stats, you know. But they're they're built to defend off cavalry, all right? These guys here. Made a video about this before where I got skill hit by six prestige castles, prestige four, prestige five, you know, and I, I didn't get burned once. I lost a bit of power and I lost a bit of troops, but they did not burn me once. And I'm only level 26, bear in mind, all right? These guys here, if you don't have level 10 berserkers and you've got level sevens, you want to be building these things. Look at the, look at the stats. All right, so they've got 29 attack. They're not built for attacking, all right? 68 defense 26 hp that's actually a lot for a level 7 troop i mean look at the uh reduced shield from archers and crossbowmen instant defensive bonus there greatly increases defense uh greatly increases uh greatly improves sorry hp these guys are built as frontline damage to t they're to sort of soak up anything you know um if someone attacks your castle, the first thing they're going to hit with their troops, their marching troops, are these guys here, or your level 10 berserkers. You need them. You need them. The, your, the rest of your army will suffer if you don't have these troops. I mean, you can also build these, but they're very shit, depending on, obviously, what level you're at. These are also defensive troops as well. I mean, look at the stats. 24, 56, 22. That's crazy. You know, reduced shield. It's, it's the same. Iron armor and uh, the grit. Added bonus as well. You don't really want to build them if you've got these because they're pretty shit. It depends what level you are again, you know, and what level you are watching this video. Now, I wanted to do, um, I actually made a video about 10 minutes ago, but uh, unfortunately it stopped recording. I didn't realise I was chatting away for about 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, anyway, moving swiftly on about that one. But uh, I actually made a march with my new halberdiers. Um, I wanted to show you. Um, now, if I'm reinforcing someone, I'll start off with this category here. All right. If I'm reinforcing someone in the event of their castle being attacked or being rallied, etc., the first item I will add to my list would be this one here. Dragon glass of assistance, purple, this is all I have. You, other people may have more, may have less. There's also a blue version of it as well, which is the next category down. Now, this gives my reinforcing troop defense 9% and also reinforcing troop attack 9%. But also, I can actually march another 6,758 troops on top of that, on top of my original, well, I think at the moment it's only 100k, because I I am actually sat in support mode, peeps, so, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm building, trying to build troops back, obviously you can notice on my power, I'm back to 14 mil now, which I'm happy about, I've just recently got my Helvedere, so I'm trying to pump out as many of them. Now, 
to amend your formation, if you didn't already know, doo -doo 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 -doo, over to here, and we got this little flag that I'll struggle pressing. And now we've got in the top right hand corner here, we got um, you can see one and two. So you've got two formations set. Now, my first one I mentioned just a minute ago is this one here. Um, it's more of an all round one for a sort of attacking and defending, obviously, I'm on reinforcement, but um, my number two, whoops, is. Uh, that needs to be changed. I thought my number two one was actually for farming troops, but maybe not. Okay, we'll forget that. I looked at that. Um, but anyway, so in the event of uh, attacking someone, um, uh, sorry, in the event of defending for someone, my, my dude next to me here, I'm going to use you out, mate, for this video. Thank you very much. Just remember, remember I was saying, and I've made this mistake many times before, when you put your dragon glass on and you put your added bonus on, if you want, if you're adding 25%, 50% mask, etc. When you go to this stage to actually reinforce the person or attack, always double check down in the bottom left hand corner because, as you can see, mine says 100k out of 107,095. You know, and beforehand I've just gone, okay, yeah, reinforcement troop, that's cool. Yeah, I select the option. And I sent reinforcements. Oh, I could have sent an actual another 7,095. So what I will probably do here. Um, Let's have a look. I mean, I'm not really too worried about that stuff. So I'll probably just add that. So I'll send reinforcements to him. Uh, yeah, okay, so they're, they're marched in there. So as you can see, you look at my formation. If I can select it. And if I can actually select it. Okay, right. So you'll see here. So essentially what will happen is the troops attack the castle. They hit the guards, which are these guys on the bottom left-hand corner first. And then will be stood the heavy pikemen and also your halberdiers. And then behind them will be your windlessmen and your strike archers. And then obviously behind them are your heavy trebuchet because they've got the most range. That's all the way the formation goes. And I see a video the other day on YouTube, someone called Daydreams. He puts out a lot of videos, fair enough. He's like a Prestige 4. Um, he used a game called um, Age of Empires, which I played as a kid myself, to sort of describe formation layers. Now I thought it was actually very good because it's... You know, it bases a lot around how this game actually works out. With you know, when the game loads itself, it fucking tells you, with no defensive infantry, the rest of your army will suffer. Full stop. It's a guaranteed fucking fact. The game's telling you this is going to happen. So if you don't have any defensive infantry in your castles, and you look at your troops, you don't have any. Fucking build them because if you don't, you're going to get fucking shit on basically. Um, if you don't, I'll show you a little gist of what happens here. A conversation that I had with one of my clan members today. I apologise. Clash in advance, darling. Um, I don't mean to sort of single you out here, but... Um, actually, I'll tell you what. I think I can view it from something else. No, I shouldn't really be doing this because I know we're going to be watching this fucking video and I don't really like to get into these chats, but... Come on, come on, phone. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to stop that because it's fucking pissing me off. Right. Uh, actually, no, I won't do that. Actually, I won't do that. Fuck it. But anyway, without without um, defensive infantry, you, you're going to get fucked, you know. So you want them level 7 um, swordsmen. If not, you you know, you want them level 10 um, because, because they are front like meat shield, you know, at the end of the day. They, they take... All the brunt of the damage, you know. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you a couple of quick reports as well just to prove it. You know, if you haven't seen my other video. Um, so I'm just trying to move about here. Um, you know, it, it just proves the fact at the end of the day, of, you know, you need them troops. You know, it's a big must. You know, and if, you, if you're going to be building them, you, you know, honestly, I, I would say that you probably want at least... 50 to 100k inside of your castle at least minimum minimum inside your castle um right so where were we okay so as as an example and don't get me wrong i am 14 and a half or 14 million power you know over 2 million troops etc but there are only eights and nines mm, and sevens and a few sevens are mostly the uh um the swordsman itself um, let's have a quick look. Where are these? Now, I, every time I sort of get skill here, I, the best ones I just sort of save because I think it's always good to sort of revert back to them, um, you know, for future reference, etc. Um, let's have a look. 
I've got a defense fair, defense victory. Let's have a look at them where. I mean, what's this one here? Uh, okay. I mean, I'll just use this as an example. I think I had level ten reinforced troops at the time from Dark. This was a, this was a while back. Um, now you can see. I mean, l look at the formation that he's sending. Right now, it's not bad. Um, it looks pretty bodged in my eyes. Um, uh, yeah, it looks pretty bodged. I mean, he probably. Would, I, I mean, if that was me and I had them troops, I probably would have sent more divine knights, less of these guys because they don't really do much damage in an attack. Um, as you can see there, they got very little kills. Um, you know, I mean, he, he sent, what, almost 30,000 of them archers. They got, like, less than 4,000 kills. But these these archers down here, he sent 44,000, and, and they got almost 20,000 kills. Um, so, anyway, but, yeah, I mean, having a quick look through, I mean, he was a Prestige 5. He was a Prestige 5 at the time when he hit me. Um, and I've got, I only had, like, 2 million troops at home. This was a while back. Um but as you can see, the first thing that, that his army came across when they hit my castle was my swordsman. At the time, I had 221k. Um, as you can see here, they took the frontline damage, 28k. I mean, I had um, how many wounded? 53k wounded. Um, you know, 23k of them were swordsmen. You know, so that's half, half, of, my, half of the wounded at least, almost, was, was like swordsmen anyway. Um, and then we have a scroll down here. I mean, I had, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he wasn't going to get through anyway, to be honest. I mean, I don't know what he was tripping out on. Um, you know, and I'll be honest with you when I'm full up with like 350k level 10 troops and you try and skill hit me, your end result as a prestige will be that if not less now, because I'm, I'm actually stronger than what I was before. But anyway, that gives you an idea of, you know, what gets hit first when, uh, when people hit your castles, obviously, with these skill hits, etc. And that's what I'm trying to sort of get people to realise today. I mean, if you go into your... Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but on each and every one of these here, your buildings, go to train and have a look at all of the stats on these characters. Every single uh, every single one, from your archers to your strike ar archers. Have a look up here, top left-hand corner. It shows you the stats, what they do, what they... Um, what they excel in, what then you know, I mean, these guys are good at resource battles, um, just basically killing everything. As long as you've got a front line stood in front of them, they've got greatly increases march bonus, um, and have a chance to attack enemy ranged troops. So they just they just deal a shit ton of damage. I mean, obviously, let's have a look at the Divine Knights. Um, apparently, they can attack enemy ranged troops. I'm not sure how because they've got a spear, but um, never mind. Um, and I have a chance to miss damage. I mean, they're, they're pretty fucking boss. 90 attack, 65. Yeah, I mean, that's just crazy. So anyway, that just gives you an idea. So just go to your buildings. Have a look at your troops. See what they do. Look at the information, you know, and sort of put it together, you know, and just think to myself, right, what will I need in the event, you know, of someone attacking my castle, etc., and things like that. Um, okay, now I will show you, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't really go around skill hitting people unless we've got a target. I will happily throw my troops in there to either reduce down the amount of troops that are in there so other people can do more damage, you know, part of the team. But I don't go around just skill hitting people for no reason. I don't see the point. I mean, if you've got tons of resources and it's what you want to do, you know, have fun. Who gives a fuck? You know, it's, it's a game at the end of the day, you know, do it. But it's not something that I really, I mean, it's good fun at the time, yeah, but... You know, it's fucking expensive to get all the resources back. I don't spend a lot on this game, 20 quid a month, if that. Um, you know, I certainly don't farm because I'm a lazy cunt. I don't. I have got farms, but they're scattered all over the map, you know, in the middle of people's hives, scouting people's hives. You know, they're basically useless. They're not farms anymore. They're just fucking just annoying little castles, basically. So I don't, I don't do stuff like that. I'm too goddamn lazy at the end of the day. I don't believe in putting all that hard work in, um, you know, farming all week, and then someone just coming to rob you while you're sleeping <laughs> which is probably pretty much exactly what i do because i'm the person who goes and robs people but you know you can understand my point of view i'm just fucking lazy basically that's my excuse but anyway yeah so um so when you're attacking people and you're skilling people right obviously bearing in mind again i am only a level 26 so i'm limited to what i can send and how much i can march now I did skill someone the other day. We hit someone in Rails Alliance H1M. Uh, now, I will say straight away that I did fuck up. Um, no, wrong one. Okay, not that one. 
whoops maybe it was that one this one here now i fucked up because i didn't put on any attack bonuses i didn't put my dragon glass on i literally logged online when it was happening i see that they were skilling someone i was like 200 kilometers away um i thought fuck it i'll just go for it and i wasn't thinking straight and i just fucking sent my troops um i didn't do too bad as to say considering the castle that i was attacking probably still sat there no doubt let's have a quick look when it loads is this one here um and he's 26 as well so i'm a 26 skilling and a 26 um i'll show you what i sent i'll show you what they had etc i think it was this one here wasn't it okay yeah so you know straight away i admit i fucked up i didn't you know look at my stats i didn't put any uh dragon glass on or attack bonus defense bonus nothing nothing whatsoever um so i fucked up but i mean i still okay in comparison but yeah um so let's have a look i mean this is what i sent i sent uh what forty three thousand um cavalry archers 9,000 of them, 26,000. I didn't actually have my halberdiers at this time either. This was a, uh, this was about a week ago, I think, almost, something like that. I didn't have these at the time, so I didn't send them. Um, I also sent some long bowmen thing, and as you can see here, I sent some infantry. 24,000 infantry. More than that. Less than that, sorry. And what did, what did they have? Okay, so they had... You want to know the reason why I won? Other than the fact that there's just low troops. All he's got here is just archers and catapults. No defensive infantry whatsoever. None. Although he had more troops, he had two, three, four hundred and twenty-five thousand troops. And all my march at him was probably, what, 117 k I marched 117k troops versus 400 k troops. 26 versus a 26 you know um yeah there's a slight difference in the stats but not really a lot you know um obviously a cab i think it may be with satin support mode as well but anyway you know you, you get the idea of uh of sort of formation you know when i attack the castle as you can see what happened here obviously i got wounded i use my uh i use my level 38 skill um we got down here okay these took the brunt of the damage so i'm attacking the castle the swordsmen go in first and then behind them you've got your archers your pikemen sorry your pikemen behind the swordsmen then your archers your cavalry etc and then your catapults which are obviously fine so the army goes in whatever's on the front line takes all the front line damage which are these swordsmen um and then everything else behind that starts firing away as soon as these swordsmen die or your berserkers die, that is it. The rest of your troops start suffering. And, you know, so if you don't send enough, I, I advise at least 25, 30, something, 30k, something like that, at least, you know. If you don't send enough, your army's actually just going to get obliterated. There's a guy in our kingdom. Um, I don't know if he's fucking learnt yet, but he went round. He used to teleport around, skill hitting people. Um, he only used level 9 horsemen and level 9 berserkers. Um, where is he? He's a fucking idiot. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This dude here, Raul. Um, I don't know if he's learnt yet. I've even messaged him before saying, dude, do you, do you realise how bad your formation is? He just sends level 9 horsemen and level 9 um, halberdiers. And, and then he, he just attacks small castles. But I've seen him hit bigger castles, sort of 25, 26. He's even hit me before and I fucking wiped the floor of him. I think he got about, he killed about, about three wounded. That was about it, you know. Um, he just didn't learn. He never built any any sort of defensive infantry. You know, if he'd sent like 15, 20k infantry with that attack, he would kill an awful lot more than what he did. But you know, but he just never learned. You know, who gives a shit? He's an enemy anyway. If he don't learn, it's up to him. Fucking watch my video, subscribe and like, eat shit. Um, but anyway, so this is what this video is basically being about. You know, I want people to fucking learn this because I've seen this today in the chat as well, and I must flipped off and clan if. It, Punisher, if you're watching this, I apologize because I just, when I, you know, the amount of times I tell people about defensive infantry or leaving your troops at home, etc., things like that, you know. And then when I see what I saw this morning, I was just like, where's your defensive infantry? And she's like, well, I have defensive infantry. I've got 110k halberdiers. And I'm like, love, please, that they're, they're not defensive infantry. Come on, come on. And I had to sort of drill it into her and say, look, you know, you need to actually start. Uh, 
building uh, level seven infantry. But bless her, she will learn, and you know we'll we'll learn learning curve, and it's you know this is what we're here for at the end of the day. So I mean, I apologise that this video's gone on a little bit. I sort of ranted it on a little bit and just sort of droned on, but I just sort of wanted to explain things as much as I sort of could in the best possible way, so people can sort of understand about formation troops and what happens when troops attack your castle and you're attacking other people, etc., and how the battle will go. You know, and if you've attacked people before and you wonder what's gone wrong, you know, just look at the battle reports. Look what happened. Look how many kills you got on, on a particular unit type, etc. Things like that. And find out, you know, what, what suits you at the end of the day. I mean, what I've shown you today is what I use. Again, I'm no pro. I don't go around zeroing people. I don't want people to assume that because it's far from the fucking case. Um, I just play the game and have fun. But uh, I analyze things in a weird sort of way. Um... You know, I look into things probably a lot deeper than what they should be, but uh, you know, I just it's just just me the way I am really. But that's what I want to make the video about. Um, I hope I didn't chat too much bullshit, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it, which is the important key. I hope you learned something from this video. But other than that, have a good day, um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you a lot later. Bye bye.